Hello everyone, I wanted to show Fable this video because we were actually playing Dawn of War earlier. So I wanted to show him this. Because he was talking about he was talking about Titans and how he would like more creatures in or things in Dawn of War to be there. So look look what it is, Fable. What's that? Uh I think that's a knight. No, that was I'm a sure Titan. Well, to be fair, I, I kinda of... over the years. I don't know the actual Our designs for the, well, we know the designs for the apocalypse. titans and knights, so if I mess oh. up, please forgive me. Soulstorm. If you're not familiar with Dawn of War, it's I, set in the I haven't been able to play Soulstorm, though I really want to. But after we finish our campaign of, uh, you know, Dark Crusade. I have really touched on that. that more in the Fire Warrior video. But if you want a comprehensive <laughs> overview of Dawn of War 1 and the expansions, <laughs> Thank you for the rain, Blue! I didn't even know you were streaming! YouTube, I have a question since apparently everyone seems to be now. know more what? about Mandalore. Oh, wait. Sorry. It, does, does he does? Does he have a thing? Alright, give me one quick. Thank you for stopping by. It's it's Blue, my favorite Aussie friend. Hello, it's good to see you guys. We're just reacting to this over here. I'm sorry everyone on YouTube who were inconvenienced by that, but yeah, what were you going to say, Fable? Uh, just genuine question. For those of you that actually watch Mandalore's content, because I noticed that last time Matt showed me a video, one of his icons was Mandalore the Preserver. If anyone can answer that question, please, uh, please, uh, help me, because <laughs> my curiosity will be the death of me if no one can answer Oh, well, that's a thing. If you, if you really know good. if it's true or not, case. I appreciate it. But yeah, I hope you had a good stream. Been a little stream for a day since I hadn't been streaming in a while. Well, that's understandable. Streaming can be tiring, especially if you have a job. I have to assume you're familiar with the base game, because this is essentially Super Dawn of War. Look at this. This is the result of nearly 15 oh years of modding. The Tyranids God, are not a, in the game at all, by the way, Fable. Oh. Hellhounds run. Also, that is Platy. He is a platypus friend. I told I showed you one of his emotes once, uh, Blue. The credits list dozens of contributors. There are probably even more people that contributed. But yeah, the Tyranids aren't actually in this game. They modded them in. Mod in some way, even if they didn't know it. Jesus it's a big Christ. mod. You'll need to take some steps to install it just right. The oh. version on mod okay, I know what that is. That is the. That includes all the game that files. Is, that was a Titan. Um, to go... What it was it called? Uh, a Hound Titan, I think mm -hmm. it was. Yeah, I think that's Maybe? what it was. Download separately. I'm not sure. This will work fine, but the mod has an update that's not on ModDB and is on Mediafire. Oh. This doesn't have an installer. You go in the directory and manually overwrite the files. If you don't have it already, the mod page includes a large address awareness patch. This will let the game oh. use more than two gigs of RAM. We're gonna be needing that. Oh, we're gonna you know, definitely be needing that. Fan patch. It's basically a mod for a mod. You especially want this for multiplayer since most players are using it. The change log for this patch is nearly 60 pages. This 60. doesn't even include a lot of the bug fixes. After talking to Salco himself about some of the stuff he fixed, I would mark this as being essential. I'll post okay. the handy guide of links in the pinned And there's another thing from the towel that we don't have. Using the mod manager is also a good idea for catching anything you miss. Oh, even if you're service. completely new to modding. Arby's fresh blue cheese. <laughs> well, I'm always glad to have blue around. He's a good friend, even though I can't collab with him as much as I wish because I don't usually have the same games as him. It's not too bad. So what's the background? It's called a hell well, okay. Top I remember. I don't know much about the uh, Titans and yeah. Apocalypse. It's for people who spend still learn. Oh yeah. Here's the thing you wanted to show you. Well, on tabletop or, 40K, I there's want to show a game you. mode called Apocalypse. Yeah. It's for people who spent their college tuition fund on Warhammer figures. They looked at the three Bane Blades their tuition earned them, and then went out and bought even more. It's an all-out war, dear God. It's less about balance, more about... Uh, thanks, Blue. I honestly don't think I'm all that great, but I it's nice to hear it. Spectacle. The mod certainly carries on that spirit. You up, dog when man. I asked the creator Cylon about it, it's... He's not talking to you, Blue. He's talking to his dog. Origins were more yeah, I have a dog. Stuff. He's in my room. I have... Yeah. Basically, the thoughts. Uh, this is the actual creator. Tanks being limited uh, to like two uh, or something, fun. and me wanting to have more predators and stuff, more terminators, basically more pariahs, especially mm. pariahs because I played the Necrons, and I developed like an idea to create an oh, apocalypse monolith, and then after that, oh. it just became the apocalypse mod. 
So what started as a guy wanting more tanks ended up with giant robots and nuclear warfare. <laughs> Dear Bottom God. Was a hell of a drug. Covering all yeah. the missions made would be near impossible. We'll still cover the major features point by point. Let's start with what's immediately all right, visible. All right. As you probably guessed from earlier, the Tyranids are in the game now. They look so different from all the other models, but that's kind of understandable considering they're, they're modded. three new factions. The second Wait, being three? the Inquisition Demon Hunters, oh. the third being the Chaos Demons. I remember playing the standalone Tyranid and Demon Hunter mod years ago, so it was cool to see them back. The standalone mods are great in their own right, and Ultimate Apocalypse gives them some more stuff to play with. Huh. The same goes for all the base factions. Everyone has oh, a gigantic oh. pile of new stuff. Each faction has about a new units minimum, but some Ooh. have several times that. Some of the units in the new factions actually look better than the stuff in base Soulstorm. Some of the existing units got new textures, models, or variations. That makes sense. Some are units from mods like Firestorm over Cronus, and some are brand new. I think they have the Pain Dark Elder. Armies has been beefed up with a lot more options. There's also new stuff to choose from on the technical side. In vanilla, you couldn't zoom out especially far. Yeah. Now you can see just about everything on the map. Oh, thank God. I, that's the one thing I didn't like about this game was I couldn't zoom out. Like, I tried to zoom out further to, like, wrangle all my soldiers to get them moving, but no. The camera was serviceable in the base <laughs> game, but you're controlling a lot more units here. Fable's having a stroke. Who needs zooming? No, I just had to open the, I just had to open the door, because Doggo Man was just like, I'm gonna stay with you for, like, I'm gonna stay with you for, like, an hour or two just to cool down, but then when I'm cooled down, I'm gonna go hang out with Dad. I'm like, I see how it is. Mm-hmm. But yeah. He only wants me for my cookies. Oh yeah, he steals the cookies then leaves. My dog only wants me for when I give her belly rubs. Anyway, on with the video. But yeah, what do you think so far, Fable? I think it's kind of cool that they did make it a lot of... Um, that they did give you like the ability to zoom out, which is nice. Um, like, what is it? Sli not slice of life, freaking... Slice of life. Yeah. Of you know what I mean? It's really not. RTS, yeah, it's yeah. not the right term. I'm looking for. Anyway. So massively that using the default game camera would probably drive you crazy. Yeah, it's driving me crazy already. The screen in the vanilla game. Others are so massive that Holy I'm not sure you would be able to see them at all. Look at that. Why am I being Maybe just their light. Look, look at th this is the Titan in the model creator. For the normal Jesus stuff. Jesus Christ. To accommodate the new scale That's board, huge. there are plenty of new user-made uh -huh. maps. Some of the existing maps have also had tweaks for the mod. That makes and sense. there are the dozens of new game options. There's enough here to accommodate just about any playstyle I can think of. Do you want more super weapons and giant units? Easy. Maybe you don't want those things. You just want to play with the regular new units so it's more like vanilla. No problem. Okay. Ultimate Apocalypse is all about having options. Let's get into that. That is always so nice to have a lot game. of options in RTSs. Real Guard. Or Astra Militarum. Whatever they are now. Yeah. Instead of having Guardsmen, now you have Conscripts. They're weaker, but cheaper, and have more numbers, and boy do they reinforce quickly. You can use these guys with the guardsmen to help tar pit the enemy. They are near useless in combat, but they'll hold the enemy still. Or the rescue team. <laughs> the rescue team? <laughs> for the you artillery. Focus on artillery, you can specialize in it. You can choose a permanent doctrine for your army. You could focus on artillery in one game, and another, air support. Several races have similar sub-faction options. Space Marines could be a generic chapter, or a Legion of the Damned. That oh, off of wow, you can add Legion of the Damned in there. I think Fable's dead again. Who are... No, no, they're Legion of the Damned. Like I said, they're, mm. imper they're possibly Imperial Daemons. Yeah, I still don't know much about them. It makes no unique ones like the Death Guard available. No, but it does. Oh. Works, or a god to follow is Chaos Demons. Having Interesting. Interesting. like this helps mix up your play style even more. Oh god, those are Kriegsmen on horseback. <laughs> I just realized what that was. In faction. In the case of the Imperial the Death Guard, Corps of Kree. Yes, everyone loves the Death Corps. A lot more artillery for cheap. Besides helping mobile artillery, it would also strengthen turrets and artillery buildings. Yeah, the guard can build artillery buildings now. You only really need people to go away. <laughs> artillery buildings. If you have a lot of money, you can build a Basilisk Magnus that can hit about anywhere on the map. If you oh. have even more money, trick it out with Apocalypse Rounds. <laughs> what do I even say to this? It has Apocalypse Rounds. I think we got him. You think you got him? You can invest in a Death Strike nuclear missile launcher. Got that him. has to get in range before it can fire. So you could build a nuclear center and pay a lot to hit anywhere. 
What upsets me most about the nuclear option is I can still see some Tyranids moving around in there. Uh -huh. So you can pay less for an orbital laser. Or build a Titan factory and start churning out Titans. Dear you God. don't have one endgame option, you have several. This isn't exclusive to the Guard. Every faction has their own super weapons and super units. Just That's about really every faction nice, has though. options for striking across the map. It definitely seems more balanced for the larger Wait, maps. Wait, question. In the smaller maps, you can be a lot more... If each faction has their own super unit, does that mean if you have to fight the Tyranids, does that mean they have a Swarm Lord as their freaking super unit? Yeah, probably, considering it's the Tyranids, and that's their highest tier unit, if I remember correctly. Oh boy, that sounds like You're enemies close by. Yeah. It's said no like one ever. Hammer Supreme Commander, but you have a lot less countermeasures in that game. Not everybody has the luxury of building a shield generator. Or that thing. What or the hell? Or this pyramid launches, which is kind of disappointingly small. Oof. It's an array of death, is what well, it launches. never mind. Don't underestimate the super weapons. Okay, I think this will get them off the oh. doorstep. Oh. Oh. The map. That's a big shockwave. It's churning. It's too close, too close. Danger close, danger close. Uh, ah, those generators are decaying anyways. It's really the variety that impresses me most of all. They didn't give everybody a nuke, but instead a unique way to give your enemy the galactic finger. It mm -hmm. could be a huge bombardment, the a way galactic to recruit units finger. for free, or a gigantic, nearly unbeatable unit. Endgame units and technologies are expensive, but the game ending ones are about triply so. Understandable. Oh dear god. A demon okay, slash. Is it gonna be? I'm yeah, that's afraid. a <laughs> Oh! <laughs> is it it's a that's a cathedral titan. Yeah. Yes, it's a giant walking cathedral titan. <laughs> Oh boy. It's, stupid. Why, 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 why. it's making the entire system chug. You know, I don't think the map was meant for something like this. He's this trying to walk. Range? I don't think it has a range. This is Big Dick One. We're crossing the Rubicon. <laughs> How do we fit on the bridge? How the does it fit on the bridge? Are definitely the most prominent feature, but there's a lot in between oh, them. My... A lot of the new units are variations right from the tabletop game. The that makes sense, game, honestly. The Imperial Guard had one variant of Rust Tank. Now they have nearly a dozen. Oh. They had one pattern of Baneblade. Now they have several types. This was their most powerful unit in Dawn of War. Things have escalated so much that a faction's most powerful unit has become a variant, complete with having upgrades from buildings. Even Chaos has one in their lineup. Oof. And they still have their scary big new vehicles. Everything that a faction had as a strength has been amplified. Your faction's most powerful hero typically has a much stronger one now. Every oh, hero wow. can be upgraded. New war gear can be unlocked. Getting new war gear improves stats and even changes their physical appearance. Some of these items were locked in campaign, but now they're in skirmish. There's something like 500 different war gear items in total now. It's a complete God rabbit damn. hole. But it's a fun rabbit hole, and you want to see what else is in there. I would what really too. What surprises me is despite all the new units, powers, and abilities, the AI is pretty okay at using all of them. That's a lot of units you need to manage. And the I think variety of units was another thing. Like uh... I will say, it does say a lot about the actual code in the game that they still run quite well before thud miser came along and did the ai uh, oh wait they actually have a man to Marines, do the ai example, only built like the land raider uh phobos or something and now they can build all five so layman rust is especially for ig ig can build all tanks now as the ai so that's pretty good that's the that one downside good. when it comes to the cell collide on the ai can't use everything in it just yet however i think all the fixes and features far outweigh that factor so what are a few flaws with the mod? Hmm. It sets the bar very high for itself, so things that would be more forgiven in a regular mod can stick out a bit more. Some people think power armor is cool. Yeah. Others think it's a fursuit for people who want to be robots. I think It is not a fursuit for people who want to be robots. Those are actually people that just want to be robots. No, that sounds like a fursuit to me. I push Fable over and... and throw his mashed potatoes. No, not my mashed potatoes, you two-wheel monster. Anyway, look what it is, Fable. It's your favorite <laughs> friend. I don't want it, Lord. My mashed potatoes are gone. <laughs> Chat, can I... This is so sad. Can I get a thumbs up? No. Can I get a funeral pyre in the chat? Oh my god. I actually want to cry. <laughs> my mashed potatoes. Fable, it's your oh favorite. Oh god, it's the Dread Knight. <laughs> yes. We can all agree that the Dread Knight That's is just called, too right? far. The Dread Knight. <laughs> you don't like the Dread Knight? I think it's okay. It's Fair, not really it is the best looking, but it's not 
I'll probably I, sad about my match <laughs> I'd probably be better for it if it didn't look like it was it's carrier. Some super units that really stick out. A lot yeah. of the Titans it look incredible. Would it would kind of look a bit better if like the chassis of the other thing was more armored up because it yeah. looks like it looks like with a well placed shot or something you could just instantly take out the uh, pilot and then it won't really be mattered. Yeah, design wise, it's cool. Just kind of needs a few t uh, tweaks here and there. Yeah, the same thing with here. Oh, I don't like that. It looks like it's carrying a baby space marine. Others look very yeah. much like placeholders. There's not yeah. a ton of them, but they do stick out. Some of the titans are just too big, even for the map. <laughs> not only does it look out of place, the tooltips are blank. Oh it's wow! I'm so. I only had the game no. crash twice. And oh my god, that's a. Tight. Did you just see what that was? What was that? That was a gherkin. Oh boy, not the gherkin. But yeah. Voice acting and sound work can. Out of place, the tooltips are blank. It's okay. clearly not done. I only had the game crash twice, and both was from building a titan. Oh, look at Voice it. acting and... So, you, you literally had a crash from building a titan. That's Sound understandable. From excellent to not so good. <laughs> Imperial forces. Submit to your masters and die violently against my wailing sword. Awesome. Yeah. Chaos demons. Oh my god, that's just someone using a voice mod. Oh. That's just a T-Rex. Did anyone hear a T-Rex? Yeah, I heard it. The engine can also struggle. Did anyone hear a T-Rex? God of War was made Yeah. The same engine they used for impossible creatures, and it's being pushed back because you, Back because you destroyed my mashed potatoes, I need to summon Robinus, the, the Rainmaker, on you now. Oh, you know what I'm gonna summon? What? You know what I'm gonna summon? What? The baby... Grey Knights? No. You are now the personal head chap, uh, right hand to Fyodor Karamazov, leader of the Inquisition. Ah, <sighs> alright. Someone get me my, uh, someone get me my sandpaper cigarettes. Anyway, apparently, I don't know what Impossible Creatures is. I've never heard of this game, but it's apparently the same engine being used for Dawn of War. <laughs> To the limit. Oh Disabling corpses can help, but it can really chug when it gets busy. Oh dear. Crashes is enough to uh, make anybody not play UA for a while. Um, I know it did me for a while. Another reason is lag. The amount of units that uh, Ultimate Apocalypse has cannot make the engine <laughs> feel good. Yeah. The big issue is multiplayer. Since there are so many versions floating around, you need the exact same file to play multiplayer with each other. You're looking the at this table. Yes, it's insane. It's yes, of course the engine's it's chugging. The Dawn of War formula where you need map control for better units, but it'll never be completely balanced. Oh, it's just those Grey Knights? Yeah, those were Grey Knights. Those are actually normal units. You don't remember seeing those when I was battling the Raven? Uh, yeah, for Action some reason, the, the Blood Ravens have access to them. Of units being worked on by volunteers isn't going to be hyper Just weird, because Weapon upgrades Grey Knights are supposed to be kept panels. secret. This isn't StarCraft. There are mods like Firestorm that add new units while keeping balance in mind, but most of those people work on this now. It's definitely worth checking out for your favorite faction. After all, yeah. it's free. You can play with titans that don't yell at your wallet and don't make you watch poker ads. It's an awesome and fun oh. mod that adds in titans and nukes. If you love titans and nukes, there you go, play it. Has zero base. All right. <laughs> all right, see you later. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Kate. mod and to the rest of the team who's still working on the next version. You can get the most up-to-date info on the mod from their discords or from Silarn's YouTube channel. While I've been working on this video, I've also been working on the next one for a German role-playing game. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And an especially big thanks to the backers. Since I'm not dying this time around, I can answer some questions. Hey, hey Vladdy. Out that infection good. All right, question one. What is the most bizarre title you've I... played? Um, nothing I've made a video on. Those are still made by teams and not made by crazy people. I've played games made by people who weren't well, and the games were kind of an outlet for them. Yeah, that makes sense. I won't do a video on most of them because they're kind of exploitive to do that, but others that weren't made by crazy people, maybe one day. Will you review Mountain Blade Bannerlord when it comes out? I'll probably be dead by then, but if not, sure. Well uh, don't worry, Blue. Just take your time. 
We can go ahead and what head out. What was the first multiplayer game you played extensively? It's completely fine. There were a lot of multiplayer games I'd play from time to time, but the first one that I think was a like daily ritual was Age of Mythology. Most people's oh. experience with the Warcraft 3 custom game scene, that was me and Age of Mythology. Eventually I started to make maps for it, really simple stuff like Cat and Mouse and Archer Arena, but that was a long time ago, so they're probably... Different. I can't believe we even somehow made this video 20... For some reason. Metal Wolf Chaos was Ooh. one, but that's getting a PC version now. There are typically going to be games that are just hard to record and get in a nice format. There are some games I'm pretty sure they put Four on PS4, so it should good. be easier to record, but I'm not doing any console stuff yet since I'm still in the moving process. Speaking of which, that move is going to be in August, but I'm not sure on the exact this date. This was because like a bunch of years. Built. There's still a video so. or two to come before that gap, so... But yeah, what did you think of the Apocalypse mod, Fable? I think it's really interesting. It does kind of seem like it does give a lot of quality of life fixes to the game. However, unless you have a really, really good computer, you won't be able to run it that well. Because even the engine itself has a hard time running. And my computer is yeah. ass, so don't expect no, so me to use like... it. Yeah. yeah, so you have to either have a really good PC... Or just kind of work, or try to make it work with the specs you have. But even then, it seems like it might be a bit too much, you know. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, oh, I know, I know about the boss, uh, the Bostian Knight. Uh, it's a that was a stupid joke from uh, Rubik's Raptor, right? I believe so. But I'll see you guys later, and I hope you like this video. If you like it, check out the Patreon, and we'll see you guys later.